This week on Winging It, we have sailing guests, lots of sunshine, and it begins to feel a little bit like summer for a while. Lately, everything's trembling. All my shelters are opening. Cabin fever? (laughs) (laughs) Jeremy's been editing in the rain all day. Locked up in the office all day. To <laughs> microphone down. Take two. Editing in the office all day <laughs> to come outside to rain. Expressions that mean nothing. your sadness in With the time change, the mornings are a little bit harder this week. The sun didn't rise until 7:05, so morning yoga and getting ready for the day were in the dark. Ravioli time! Give me your best ravioli dance. <laughs> That's boring. <laughs> We're a little bit concerned about our really warm comforter that helps get us through this stormy cold season. Survive the winter with this IKEA blanket over here, but it's a little too much for this week of 70s. And Kai wants to try too. So we're gonna try out our 30 day trial Buffy comforter made out of recycled water bottles, which is great. And eucalyptus lining. So, hope it was a little lighter. It's supposed to be good for hot and cold. Look! Nice and soft. We'll give it 30 days. See how it goes. A lot of people ask us about Kai and her being on the boat. How it goes, whether she likes it or not, how does she go to the bathroom, and all those things. Well, let me tell you, she absolutely loves it. She gets two runs a day and spends her mornings and evenings outside staring at sea lions, birds, and smelling all the smells from the fishermen nearby. We take her to the canyon nearby, and she even loves her rides on the dinghy. There's something about when the seasons start to change, feeling that warmth on your skin again from the sun. The times aren't sharp. Boy, sharpen our knives. Here are the infamous pita pizzas that reported are a fave of ours. With the time change, sun sets a little bit later, which means Jeremy works later as well. Jeremy working a late night. Are you hanging with the sunset? I'm loving playing guitar at night alone on the boat with no one else around and a view of downtown sparkling lights in the distance. The weekend sunshine has been a dream come true. After working our old college's track meet, I spent the afternoon in my bathing suit reading in the sun on the deck. We took the boat out for a dump and water refill. We found the connection in our navigation is beginning to fail, and our alternator is going to need to be replaced. Boat life is a lot of fun, but there it comes with repairs as well, just like owning a home. We love heading to slow down for sunsets with Kai Dog. Get a dog, and you'll never forget to watch the sunset. Take my time, As the sun came out the next day, a school of tiny fish came by for a visit to warm up. My brother Justin and his wife Rosie came out for a sail. Our jib sail is stuck from the rain, so we could only use the main sail and motor for a motor sail afternoon. We'll find a windless night this weekend to fix the sail though. We were treated to being able to watch a submarine head out to sea from the base nearby. 
There were many boats guarding as they left, and the sailors were standing on top of the submarine until it passed out of the harbor. Is it all right if I decide but change my mind? Is Sunday we wanted to soak up the sun and run Kai, so we headed to Fiesta Island. The amount of flowers that have sprouted up in places that used to be plain, brown, and dirt stopped me in my tracks. Life has suddenly arrived anywhere the sunlight can squeeze its rays into. All it took was one season of storms full of record-setting rains to create these sweeping hills, deserts, and valleys that have been overtaken by hues of fuchsia, yellows, and purples. All along these seeds sat just beneath the top layer of the soil, waiting to be brought out where it could show the world who it really was. It was here all along just waiting. As I run through fields of these super bloom flowers, and they paint orange streaks of pollen down my denim jeans, they remind me to be patient. The seed is there. It's lying just beneath the soil, waiting for that perfect season of rain for it to grow into something that changes the world and can't help but catch others' eyes. 